step back into the adventurous jungle of the 1934 classic, where wild beasts roam and danger lurks behind every tree. In this film, you'll witness a thrilling tale of love, survival, and the untamed beauty of nature. But hold on tight, because there are many funny, shocking, and sad facts coming your way, so keep watching. As you journey through the lush landscapes and encounter the colorful characters, you might find yourself wondering out of the many roles in this movie, which one was your favorite? Perhaps it's the fearless Tarzan, swinging through the trees with the grace of a jungle cat. Or maybe it's Jane, the spirited heroine who isn't afraid to venture into the unknown. But enough about them, we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this film? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We can't wait to hear from you. Keep your eyes peeled for more exciting adventures and fascinating insights. There's never a dull moment in the world of Tarzan and his mate. Get ready to be amazed. Tarzan and his mate, released in 1934, left a lasting mark on cinema worldwide. It wasn't just any movie, it became a sensation that drew in audiences from all corners of the globe. The film's significance lies in its pioneering use of special effects, its exciting storyline, and its portrayal of the beloved character Tarzan. Even today, many years after its release, the film remains important due to its influence on later movies and popular culture. The movie's influence can be observed in several ways. Firstly, it pushed boundaries with its special effects, offering breathtaking views of the African jungle by seamlessly blending live-action scenes with animation. This groundbreaking technique set a new standard for visual storytelling in film. Secondly, the adventure story of Tarzan and his mate still captures the imaginations of viewers. The film follows Tarzan and Jane as they brave the perils of the jungle while confronting greedy treasure hunters. Their epic journey fascinated audiences then and continues to do so now, inspiring numerous other adventure films. Lastly, Tarzan's character remains a beloved symbol of bravery, courage, and the wild outdoors. His depiction in the movie solidified his status in popular culture, making him a cherished figure for generations of fans. In conclusion, Tarzan and his mate's influence, historical importance, and continued relevance stem from its innovative special effects, thrilling storyline, and memorable portrayal of Tarzan. It continues to be cherished and remembered as a classic of cinema, captivating audiences with its timeless tale of adventure and romance. Neil Hamilton appeared in the movie Tarzan and his mate, acting alongside stars like Joan Crawford, Norma Shearer, Constance Bennett, and Southern and Jean Arthur. In one scene, Maureen O'Sullivan, who portrayed Jane, wore a small panty beneath her loincloth, which sometimes appeared lighter due to the lighting, blending with her skin. This detail was noted despite the Hayes Code's restrictions. The film holds a perfect 100% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, based on 17 critic reviews. Johnny Weismuller, well known for playing Tarzan, left a lasting impression on movies. He came up with Tarzan's famous yell, which was played at his funeral as he wished. When filming began, Weismuller faced a tough situation with the chimpanzee. However, he quickly showed who was boss and became close friends with the chimp, who then stayed by his side in the movies. Neil Hamilton, who later played Commissioner Gordon in the Batman TV series, also appeared in the movie. All these things add to the importance of the film. Neil Hamilton, known for his role in Tarzan, and his mate faced a challenging childhood after shattering his right arm at the age of six. Despite grim prospects for recovery, his family's strong religious faith saw him through. Meanwhile, Maureen O'Sullivan, who starred alongside Hamilton, collaborated with Robert Young in several MGM films, including Strange Interlude and Tugboat Annie. However, her experience on set was not without its difficulties. O'Sullivan reportedly disliked working with a chimpanzee cheetah during the Tarzan movies, privately referring to the primate as that ape son of a bitch, as revealed by her daughter Mia Farrow. Despite the challenges behind the scenes, Tarzan and his mate remains a notable film of its time. Tarzan and his mate, released in 1934, features Maureen O'Sullivan and Neil Hamilton. O'Sullivan, known for her roles, supported various organizations including UNICEF, the United Nations, the Democratic National Committee, and Habitat for Humanity. Hamilton, strikingly handsome in his youth, modeled as the arrow collar man alongside other notable figures like John Barrymore and Frederick March. Interestingly, Hamilton garnered more fan mail in the 1920s than Rudolph Valentino, a box office king. Additionally, Hamilton appeared on the Thanksgiving Day cover of the Saturday Evening Post in 1918, marching beside a turkey. These facts add layers to the actors' backgrounds, enriching the context of the film. Tarzan and his mate, an important movie released in 1934, starred Maureen O'Sullivan in a big role. 
O'Sullivan was found in Dublin by director Frank Borzage while filming Song Oh My Heart. Johnny Weismuller, who played the main part, was born in Freydorf, Romania, to Elisabetha and Petrus Weismuller. They were Banat Swabians, and the family moved to the United States when Johnny was a baby. Weismuller, the first Tarzan to speak on screen, passed away in January 1984, shortly after the last surviving silent Tarzan, James Pierce, died. Despite their different backgrounds, both actors had a huge impact on how Tarzan and his adventures were shown in movies and popular culture. Neil Hamilton faced a challenging period in the mid-1940s, contemplating suicide due to personal and professional struggles. Planning to leap from a Santa Monica mountain, he encountered a priest who advised him to undertake a novna instead. Following this, Universal Studios offered him an acting role, marking a turning point in his life. In an interview for Tom Weaver's book, Maureen O'Sullivan shared insights into her experiences. She recounted her initial encounter with Clark Gable, who was disguised in old man makeup for a film. Despite his invitation for horseback riding, she declined. However, upon realizing Gable's true age during a subsequent meeting for voiceover recordings, she regretted her decision, noting that he never extended another invitation. Johnny Weismuller, famous for playing Tarzan, had an interesting connection with his brother Pete Weismuller. Born in what is now Romania, Johnny and Pete switched identities so Johnny could join the U.S. Olympic trials. This worried Johnny because he was afraid the sports officials might find out and take away his swimming records and medals. Maureen O'Sullivan, who starred in Tarzan and his mate, is the grandmother of famous people like Fletcher Previn, Ronan Farrow, Moses Farrow, Sunyi Previn, Daisy Previn, and Dylan O'Sullivan Farrow. Aside from the actors' personal lives, Johnny Weissmuller had a surprising experience during the Cuban Revolution. While playing golf in Cuba, he and his friends came across soldiers who seemed like they might harm them. Quick-thinking Johnny let out his famous Tarzan yell. The soldiers recognized it and applauded, escorting the group safely and even giving Johnny 100. Dollar these real-life stories give more depth to the cast background, showing the interesting lives of those involved in the 1934 movie Tarzan and his mate. In the movie Tarzan and his mate Johnny Weismuller, known for his iconic Tarzan call, developed a distinctive yell as a child. Tarzan doesn't make an appearance until 23 minutes into the film. Maureen O'Sullivan, who starred alongside Lou Ayers in three other MGM films, including OK America, Spring Madness, and Macy Was a Lady, plays a prominent role. 